We're here in Santa Margarita for the Ice Cup, the long-established rendezvous for ice yacht owners who like to race. We're privileged to be on the Ice Santa Joy to watch this regatta today. It's a beautiful boat and the starting procedures are underway, so stay with us. The route for this regatta today starts in front of Santa Margarita, then we head towards the buoy in front of Portofino, then go out wide, coming back in at Zoagli and then head back to Santa Margarita Ligure. We're just waiting for the setup checks to finish now here on board the Joy Ice Yacht 60, where the conditions are pretty good at the moment. The wind is six to seven knots, but that's not forecast to get stronger. And it's quite cloudy, but it's still a beautiful day. Five, four, three, two, one. We set off five minutes ago and we're one of the first in the fleet, so it's a great day here on board the Joy. We're still up amongst the leaders, we've made two turns and we're approaching Portofino, where we can catch some of the breezes that come down from the mountains. Brilliant. We've just gone round the stern buoy using the Jenica and we're third out of the whole fleet, which is great. The sun's come out again, so there's more pressure and we're going around 13 knots. We'll soon be at the second buoy, tacking. And that's how we'll close the Sailing Cup in Santa Margarita. Very emotional, and we got third prize. Very proud. This is Lodovico. We just come across the finish line, and we're not expecting that much. And it went very well. Indeed, and as usual, we had great fun. There was a good wind, the boat went like a dream, and it's just been a perfect day. And so we finished, third. Okay, ci riprendi. And we'll do it again next time. Definitely, with pleasure. You're a great crew. You were what was missing. This is Matteo. He's eight and our mascot on board. Well done, Matteo. Did you have fun today? Yes, loads. So, will you do some more regattas, or do you like smaller boats better? More regattas, definitely. So you're putting your love of motorboats on hold? Yes, just for a while. Promesso. Promise? Yes.
Okay, so not okay. okay, I'm here with Rainer now, who boasts a particular record here in the Ice Cup. He's famous. How did it go this year, Rainer? Oh, this year was fine. The, the food is excellent, the Marco is very helpful, and this is my detection, so he's yeah. responsible <laughs> for the place yeah, so. for this year. <laughs> Let's ask Emmanuel Ciccini how this year's regatta went. Bellissimo, Santa Margherita è sempre bellissimo. Grazie a tutti quelli che hanno lavorato per fare. Really well. It's always really lovely in Santa Margherita, thanks to everyone who has worked on it, so that it actually happened this year, after the disaster last autumn. Portofino and Santa Margherita made sure the sun's shining. What else could you need? We've had fun. The boat is really fast, and the regatta is always a pleasure. And now I'm with Pelle, who's from Stockholm in Sweden. He's an ice owner who's just visiting. He left his boat at home. Now it was a little bit uh, light wind conditions today, but uh, we're sailing to Wedebin Marco uh, on the uh, I-62. Uh, we had a little bit struggle with the trim because the mast has been uh, has been off the last uh, days, so it, they put it on uh, like yesterday. Uh, so but I think we found a trim after uh, an, an hour or so, so a little bit floky wind conditions, but uh, extremely nice, um, I think, event. It's uh, perfect for, for the ice brand that uh, doing that, this kind of thing, inviting people from all over the place. I come from Sweden myself, so it's uh, fairly uh, far away. But um, anyway, build this up year by year in San Santa Margarita de Ligure. I, I think it's a very good idea because it also adds another really nice dimension to buying an ice yacht and doing sailing etc. It's not that like tough racing conditions but more that everyone could take part if you have an ice yacht and I, I think that's a really good idea. This is Mauro Todisco, owner of Ice 52, Sotos Opera, who went really fast today. Yes, I'd say the conditions were good. There wasn't too much wind, which made it a bit more simple, because with conditions like today, the boat just flies. In fact, we came second, only after a boat that was designed and is used purely for regatta racing. Whilst ice here is a fast cruising boat, faster than a cruiser, I have to say. It really performs well. It glides with just a little wind. In fact, it's faster than the wind, which means we get great results. This is Marco Malgara the mastermind of the boat yard and of this ice cup too. What's your view now we've settled down on land? Well, we're really happy because we've seen that our boats, amongst the others in the whole fleet, are always amongst the fastest, which is very satisfying. It's a shame that the weather forecast we made was completely wrong, so quite a few people were put off because it was meant to rain, rain and rain. The sea was supposed to be rough too, but it wasn't at all. On the other hand though, I was really happy to see my boats out in front of the fleet. It made me happy and makes me want to keep on making more powerful boats. Two amongst the top three, good result, no? Absolutely, yes. We're really, really happy with that. And the owners have seen that the boats we make have something more than competitors' boats. So we'll close with the shining sun and the smaller boats which are just finishing up, completing the last leg of the race. The Ice Cup 2019 has some positive results, with two boats coming in out of the first three. Don't miss Santa Margarita 2020. Goodbye, till next time.